notions of progress are, 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 are very personal and very often I mean this spawns very jejun arguments on the internet about why some states are advanced and why some aren't. We continue to hear news of how some states are better governed and some aren't. When do we finally get down to quantifying these factors? When do we come down to brass tacks? And how can these brass tacks be inputs, useful inputs for those in governance? That was the objective of organizing this material. Dr. Paul and Dr. Kala Shreeder worked very hard to organize material over four years to try and identify some of the governance factors that made Tamil Nadu stand out from UP over the course of three decades of growth and development. Once we have established that a state indeed is progressing better than another, it is not time to set, sit on our laurels. We need then to start investigating why is it that some parts of an advanced state or a relatively advanced province within the country still continues to languish in the depths of poverty, mired in all the weaknesses that can be found in a relatively weak state. So a study like this helps us then to narrow down issues that matter at the district level, at the province level, on why parts of state, parts of a state progress faster than other parts of the state. This gives us very important lessons, especially to those in governance. In these times when we are talking of good days ahead, when we are talking of good governance in certain states, these are real measures with which we need to measure states and their progress.